welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i am doing a poundland haul it's a pretty big one <laughs> um it's my kids birthdays um this month so i've got a few bits for like their party and stuff like that basically so i'm not gonna bring it out in any random order but yes let's get showing you what i got from poundland right going to try and get all the party stuff out, out of the way first. Um, I've got these four platters. I was going to use one of the massive ones and put like the vegetable stuff on it. So like I think I was going to do like mixed grapes, carrot sticks and cucumber. And these are great because they separate them all. Which my kids like being separated. Well especially Eva. So this is a pack of two pounds again. Um, yeah. I thought it was quite good because then I could separate like all the um, veg and stuff basically. And I got some cups. I kind of over bought the cups and plates and napkins and stuff like that because I think it's best to have more than what you need. Um, some paper cups that, that just say happy birthday on them. Um, well happy birthday to you because it is a joint party because my kids are three days apart. Um, it's just easier to do it together. This will more than likely, actually I don't think it will be the last one together because this party is quite, it's not Andrew's thing, but Andrew didn't want a party, Ava did, but I said just invite some new friends anyway. Um, so yeah, it's not really a thing for him anymore. It's like a big bouncy castle, big slide and soft play stuff. And yeah, it's not really Andrew's thing, but I wanted to still keep it very neutral because even though I could still buy girl stuff and boy stuff, it's one of those where some of Andrew's friends are girls, I might want the girl stuff, and some Ava's friends are boys, I might want the boy stuff. So I kind of just thought, let's make it neutral type thing. So yeah, it says, happy birthday to you. I got three of these, they were a pound each. There's 15 in a pack, so I got the 45. Um, even though I won't really need that many. Um, it's usually about 30 kids, but I'd rather overestimate the people that have like got up, got drinks before food, if that makes sense. So yeah, I got three of those. Napkins. Oh yeah, you got three of these again. I can't remember, 20 in a pack. Um, just so if I'm using any for like food or if um, I've got any spillages and stuff. So I prefer to have obviously one on each plate and then a pile somewhere. Because more than likely, with a party of 30 kids, someone's going to spill something. So I've got some spare ones of those as well. You know, or a pound each again. Same with plates. Um, got three. There is 15, I think, in in it. Oh, no, 20. So I could have got away with just two, but I got three. I think um, they were with the others that said 15 in a pack. So I assumed there was 15 in a pack, but there's 20. So I've got 60 plates. Don't need really six plates. Four children are completely fine, but it means I've got some spare, I don't know, for like a birthday cake and stuff. Cause because their birthdays are three days apart, Ava's having a birthday, her birthday, and then the day after it's a birthday party. And obviously there's another day, and then the day after that it's Andrew's birthday. So um, I always use it for like cake and stuff when we obviously at home. The next ones I got was these foil platters. I've got a couple of these now. Um, are these pack of two or pack of three? Pack of three. Um, yeah, just to put bits and bobs on like sandwiches and stuff. I've already got a couple of packs already, but I thought let's get some more. Just so, yeah, I'd rather, again, I'd rather have more than not enough and cover everything on there. Because it's going to be a big long table with 30 kids, I need two of everything. Um, so yeah, this will kind of sort out three things, if that makes sense. There'll be two of platters, one thing, if that makes sense. And the next thing I got was tablecloths. Again, I got them in like a multicolour pattern. Um, they're like the waterproof ones where you just wipe it away in case there is any spillages. But I thought... I was going to get the grey ones, but then I just thought actually um, they will probably go better because the colours are exactly the same and yeah, more bright and cheerful things really. There's a pack of two, again there was a pound, if anything's more than a pound I will mention it. Next one I got was some bowls, I do have some bowls, plastic bowls from when they had a party previously, um, but black because last time well, I've had it for quite a while, I suppose, but I kind of, um, everything was like black and grey, but now everything's quite colourful, so I'm like, do I, do I want black bowls? But I got a pack anyway, um, can't go wrong with it really, it's 25 in a pack, just got the one, just the things to put like crisps and sausages and all that type of stuff in, 
Um, yeah, got some of those. I got one of these for Andrew. It says, it's my birthday. Last year, Ava was at school for her birthday and she loved going in. She had a headband that said happy birthday on it or birthday girl or something like that on it. Um, and then she was like, oh, I wanted to go to school on my birthday. I used to hate going to school on my birthday, but he wanted to and his birthday was on a Sunday, I think it was. And this year it's on a Monday. Ava's is on a Friday, Andrew's is on a Monday. And I got Ava a, like a little tiara that says birthday girl on it because the headband that we got, it was like a headband and then a card. And the car just went really funny and whatnot. So I thought, you know what, spend a bit more money, have a tiara, and then we can use it every year she's at school, even when she's not. Um, but yeah, I got my badge that says, it's my birthday. I wanted the one that says birthday boy on it, but because it had an actual clip, like, um, yeah, I don't feel comfortable him going into school with that because he's one of those things that people to fiddle with stuff and I didn't want him to hurt himself on it. So this one's just kind of like got a regular kind of like a little plastic clip that you can have and um, yeah, big bag that says it's my birthday. That was a pound as well. So these AA batteries, we've run out of AA batteries. AA batteries are the most that we use in this house just because of Xboxes and just because of Xboxes and things. Um, and yeah, we ran out of batteries where we had to literally dig through like a drawer, try and find like ones that have fallen out. Um, so yeah, it was pretty crazy yesterday because we couldn't all play on the Xbox that we usually do. So yeah, I got some more of these. They were two pounds and you get 30 in a pack. They don't last too long if you're like Andrew, who's on the Xbox like for hours, um, or if we have like a, a family Xbox night or something, but they're okay um, for like, yeah. Just little things like they've never run out and like remote controls and stuff like that and toys that seem to last a while but yeah it's just in the xbox i think because it's constantly been used that they don't last very long in i also got some of these heat pads these were also a pound i was going to get the cura ones but there was one pad per pack um again it was a pound but then i saw these ones even though they're self-adhesive i won't have to use a self-adhesive on it i'll just leave them um, basically I've got a bad knee and last time I was there I bought a like a knee um, bandage thing with holes in it that you could put heat pads in and you got two heat pads in it so it was a really good price um, two heat pads and the brace thing the um, like bandage but because it's one massive hole and it's all attached I thought well why can't I just put one massive heat pad in um, because I, that was the only time I saw the bandage things in there so yeah, I got these, which were two, which two for a pound. Let me open them, and I think they'll fit perfectly fine. Yeah, and I think that's a perfect size for the whole thing to go around the knee because it's under my kneecap that hurts. So I think, yeah, instead of putting two heat pads in because it's on all the way underneath my knee and like all the way around it to the bottom, I have to have one heat pad here and one heat pad here, and like kind of push them together a bit so they're quite small. If I have a massive one, I have to use one instead of using two each time. That makes sense. So yeah, I got the huge ones um, to use for my knees. Well, my knee. Uh, the next thing I got is some more of this cream. If you're wanting it, some cream, you're similar to my age. I'm 29 now, and this is a brilliant range. It's anti-aging. You actually meant to use anti-aging products. I think it's around 21 or 25. I forgot. But basically, you're meant to use it to prevent wrinkles rather than using it when you're older to get rid of wrinkles if that makes sense so i've been using the hashtag six hashtag six or number six range for a good few weeks like a good couple of months now and i absolutely love it the day cream is amazing and i've actually had last poundland haul we didn't have to get any like top ups of the creams so they've lasted me i've still got enough in them to be honest the night cream, it looks like it's barely been used, but I use it every single night. The day cream is running out and the eye cream is starting to run out. So I say I use the, the eye cream twice a day and the day cream just once, but it's a smaller bottle. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. This is the day cream and it's got SPF 15 in it and obviously it's anti-aging as well. And then this is the eye cream and you just pop a little bit under your eyes and rub them in. I have sensitive skin. Um, and these are brilliant for it. They don't give me a reaction, they don't make me red or nothing. It does say here, suitable sense of skin and dermatological tested and clinically tested. 
and it's against animal testing as well which is amazing um but yeah they don't bother my skin whatsoever and they're really nice out of anything i'd say the day cream is my favorite cream because it's quite thick um and it feels like that it's keeping my skin absorbed like my skin hydrated very very well because it's quite thick it it does take a while to soak but not really um but it, it feels like my skin is kept hydrated um which i love it and like i said with the spf 15 in as well i've never put like i've never had a cream on my face that's got spf in which is really bad but um obviously i know like sun and stuff like that is meant to be bad for aging so yeah i love this this is my favorite cream ever and before i used to spend 4.99 on a l'oreal um, anti-aging cream and that would last me maybe three weeks because it, it wasn't a day or night cream it was just a cream that i used twice a day and um yeah that wouldn't last me a month this lasts me two months and it's a pound and then that's a pound and then the night cream obviously is another pound it's three pounds and it's lasted me two months but they do different things so yeah amazing and then what i got is some cotton buds we've run out and yeah, just needed some more, so I grabbed some of those. Um, now this is the bag filled with sweets. Um, some of the sweets are for the house, some of the sweets are for the party because I'm making like cones with like, um, like marshmallows and stuff like that in. So I wanted some sweets and like um, rainbow drops. Have they called rainbow drops? I used to love them as a kid. Put those in and then like loads of other bits and bobs of sweets and whatnot. And again, I'd rather overbuy the sweets than make them and be like, oh, I've got to run to the shop and get more. And I've got to make like 30 odd, I'd say 35, because including my kids, there's going to be around about 35 kids there. So, I've bought a lot. Um, I pull out the things that, if I can find all of them, things that are just for us. Um, Barney's, again, a pound. Um, Ava is obsessed with them. Um, yeah, she just loves these. They are the chocolate filled one as well. They do have, I think, the milk ones, but I just got the chocolates. Um, these, I've got another piece of milk in there. It's so like, they finally have them back. The, um, the past couple of times I've been in Powerland, they've had just the yogurt flavoured ones with the black currant and then yogurt. And my kids don't, it, they aren't a massive fan of like yogurt um, coated stuff. They like yogurt, so they don't like yogurt coated stuff. And at a normal shop, these are about two pounds. I buy these from Tesco every single week, and they're two pounds for one pack, but they're a pound at Poundland. So, I got two. We do have some left already, but I thought, you know what, let's just stock a bit on them. And the kids are obsessed with this, five packs in here, and they're uh, one of the five a day, no added sugar, and they're gluten free, and all they are is like dry strawberry flakes. They are obsessed with them. Um, I've got a, like a healthy, unhealthy box and a healthy box where they do have to have one or two things a day out of the healthy box that to me they kind of are like sweets in a sense but it feels like a treat to them but it's not because they're actually having a five a day and not got any sugar or any like enormous or anything like that in so it's really really good um but yeah like i said i've got two of those the next one is gold bars we absolutely love these i never really tried them before before meeting my husband but they're my husband's favourite and then I just buy massive packs like this and we all love them. So we all have them. Um, and this was a pound for 18 bars, which is amazing. The next one for us, I think we've just got a couple more. We've got some more for us and the rest of them are for party. Um, Whispers, the actually I love them, but they're also one of Andrew's favourite chocolate bars. So um, I've got a pack of those. Ava's favourite chocolate bars, they are the Kinder Chocolate. Last time I was in Poundland, I got kind of like the Poundland versions. And to be honest, they were really nice and you got double the amount for the same price. But they didn't have any left. So I just got the regular Kinder ones, um, which is five. These, there's five of them, but they are quite big. So even though the other ones you got double, they were probably about that difference in size. Um, but yeah, they're Ava's favourite chocolates. And then Harry Bears. Um, a lot of the time they have like the super mix which I can't stand getting because they don't like all of them. I mean it's nice because they've got like the tangy ones in because Andrew loves the tangy ones and then strawberries because they both love strawberries as well. 
but the the red packets the star mix i think they're called or the super mix no one really likes them um so they're always wasted so i'm so happy that i had these in it's 11 mini bags but we've got like the favorite kind of haribos in the blue ones i like one of the favorites so yeah for a pound i've got one of those as well everything else is uh sweets for the party phones first we've got like fruit salad and blackjacks there's more than likely to be some of these left over and the, yeah i'll probably not use as many blackjacks because i absolutely love blackjacks i'm not a massive fan of licorice like the normal chew i think it's just the texture of it so chewy but even though these are not chewy but they're a bit more stickier I, I like these anyway blackjacks i love um and you can't really get them around very often the only place i found them is asda and poundland um but yeah it's a mixed bag and i could just drop like a few in the, the cones for the party i also got some Haribo gold bags but the same i can just throw a few in each one pretty much everybody loves these so. again um my ones these are all pounds um so again i could just took a couple on each cone and i wanted to kind of like instead of having a lot of like instead of picking like five sweets and having loads of them in there i wanted a variety in case some kids don't like all the sweets because it's the same for us when we have cones there's not always they don't like all the sweets that are in there so um yeah i wanted to be a variety i have got more as well that i got from tesco um but yeah there's i think we've got plenty of sweets now <laughs> um the next ones which are the final ones i got is the mini lollies again i thought these would go great in the little um cones because they are small but there's 22 in packs so i've got two we'll probably have we will have some left over that i can put in their snack boxes but yeah they're small enough to fit in there they don't take loads of room but um most kids love lollipops so that is it and that i think is pretty much yeah everything so like i said because of the kids party there's a lot of party stuff and loads of sweet but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new but i hope you have an amazing rest of the day and i will see you soon bye